Okay, well, I'm back, sort of. Um, I have been having uh, major issues uh, with my um, webcam. Basically, uh, I just completely filled my OneDrive on my laptop uh, with too many videos and, and graphics and pictures and stuff. So, I used all but... I use like 4.9 out of 5 gigabytes. So I was recording videos and they weren't able to record more than 5 minutes at a time. So I tried to do them installments and stitch things together. I tried to do the uh, best first time views of 1980. <laughs> Wrong year. The best, what year is this? The best first time views of 2022, the worst first time views of 2022. I started with the worst. I worked through trying to do that several times. Uh, then I tried to do like a standalone. This is what's going on with me. And same thing happened. So I started emptying my OneDrive and uh, that's a project I'm going to keep at um, for a while. Uh, so instead, I'm using my phone. This is my more or less brand new phone. I got it about three months ago at the most. Uh, it is a Samsung uh, S22 um, 5G. It's pretty damn incredible. So I like experimenting on it. The cameras are incredible. So I can do some incredible shots for my eBay store. And... Uh, Maybe shoot some stuff on here. Um, I don't want to do this like, uh, I hate to do the call out here. I don't want to do this like eccentric owl business where everything's on my phone, you know, and it's like, it's like this, you know, and it's held at an awkward distance. That's a cool shot though. Um, but I, uh, I want to do it widescreen. I want to do it to where the lighting's pretty good. And of course, yes, I'm gonna use filters, sorry. Couldn't use filters on my uh, laptop. So it's just, this is too small for me. I'm, I'm not of the generation that can easily manipulate uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, though I have gotten much better over the years. Um, I really would like to do webcam. But for now, this is gonna be my tool. Uh, I'm starting to look like a Gene Colon drawing here. And that's okay. Gene Colon is the man. Was the man, is the man. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'm kind of just hanging out. Uh, I've been working on Flickr Street. I've been uh, spending a lot of time talking to a new friend who's an artist. And she's been very supportive. I'm sure I'll give her shout outs on the channel. Excuse me, it's not the company. I'm just tired. Um... In the meantime, I wanted to do this to kind of experiment, you know, as far as, whoa, look at that light. What, <laughs> where'd I go with what I actually, you know, was able to do, which might not be much. So, the last month has been uh, one crisis after another, and, um... I didn't have running water for a month. Uh, I was out of work a couple of weeks. I had COVID. Uh, I've been eating well, but maybe too well. I've gained a lot of weight, as you can probably tell. Uh, mainly from eating too much cheese uh, and pizzas. Uh, not uh, a lot of vegetarian, all vegetarian stuff, but not as much vegan stuff as usual. So still getting high protein, but I'm also getting high fat and high sugars so i don't know what diet you cats subscribe to so that's all kind of academic really at this point uh so i'm in a pretty relaxed state here i finally have running water uh my my mission to clean my house has finally begun in earnest um it looks like i will get a uh, crisis pay for the time out i was out of work with covid um and it looks at my property man. Well, it looks like my property man, property manager, here in our community. That's a gated community. I live in a townhome that I own. Uh, has ponied up and paid the 
final uh, plumbing bills for me. I'm going to pay her a portion of it in installments uh, beginning in March. And I might be getting some other financial assistance with some of this lingering stuff from 2022 that has been um, bedeviling me. I'd really like to review the movie Bedeviled. Have you guys seen that? This is just an amazing Asian film. Horror, revenge, domestic tragedy kind of film. So I know my eyes are going that way. I'm not sure how to focus it to make it look like I'm looking straight at you. So, uh, but I am. I'm looking. I'm peering straight into your soul, actually. So I'm happy to be back on camera. There goes my light source. Let me call it back up. <laughs> I'm going to show you what it is in a second. But uh, you know, I'm just completely MacGyvering this all the way. Um, I want to do a long-awaited video on my phone which is going to be a tour. Uh, I'll do it. I'm probably going to have to do it in several parts. A tour of the excuse me <laughs> the infamous covert Blu-ray permanent library or the covert permanent Blu-ray library. Weeded out all the ones I don't want to keep. Uh Still selling on my eBay store. I'll put the address below. I've actually made a few sales in the last two weeks. Uh, I had to send most of them out late because of my COVID and uh, plumbing and pipe bursting issues. But I did sell a few movies. I sold Attraction, a.k.a. Nero Subianco by uh, Tinto Brass with uh, Terry Carter, later Battlestar Galactica fame. I forgot the name of the lovely young lady who is the star. I want to say Alexandra Stewart, but that's the lady who played in Obsessions, early film written by but not directed by uh, Martin Scorsese. That they look a lot alike. Um, I sold Morvern Kyler, one of my favorite films. It's on Blu-ray, so I'll upgrade it eventually. Uh, I need new pillowcases. So. Excuse the the, the 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 grimy pillowcase uh, look here. Um, and uh, today I sold Anima Mundi, which is one of the uh, two trilogies uh, produced uh, and also sometimes written and directed by Godfrey Reggio. So the the trilogy everyone knows is the Katsi trilogy. Um, Koyana Scotsi. Oh, I forgot the second one. Pawakatsi. Koyanoskatsi, Pawakatsi, Nakoyakatsi, or Nakatsi. Uh, I haven't seen the third of those all the way through. I used to own uh, Pawakatsi. I owned it quite, I owned it a while back. I sold it a couple of years ago. Uh, I'm still selling most of my DVD collection. Some of the DVDs that I was going to sell, uh, not necessarily the discs themselves, but the the, uh, the paper artwork graphics that slip inside the sleeve got really damaged by the flooding it had beginning on Christmas Eve. So that's kind of a bummer. There were some things I was going to keep in there too, but I had made a stack of ones uh, that I actually was going to put in nicer cases, slip cases with the plastic. I was going to order some from Amazon. And a lot of those are now ruined. Some of them are still okay. Um, some of the ones I want to keep. Uh, I'm a little saddened, but what the fuck. So I'm still, I've still got quite a few DVDs in my main bookcase at the bottom of the covert permanent Blu-ray library that I was going to keep for a long time. Uh, some kind of rare black exploitation and. Uh, samurai films, uh, some uh, spaghetti westerns, but I'm going to end up selling quite a few of those. Not all, but all but the rarest are most sentimentally attached to me, the ones that probably will never come out on Blu-ray. So I'm reevaluating once again what I'm selling. And once again, as I had this crisis in this walk-in closet, which is just a few feet away from me where I used to house all of my comic books, you know, part of the ceiling fell in in uh, summer 2021. Uh, similar problems, you know, pipes, uh, backups, 
uh, problems with the Freon and the cold air. A lot of things were wrong, or well, they were kind of ticking time bomb issues uh, when I moved into this place, but no one apprised me of these, and I had no money to do an inspection. So eventually all this is kind of almost literally blown up in my face, and so uh, I lost some comic books then, but I, I managed to rescue the vast majority of them. Uh, but as then, uh, now, as then, I'm more determined than ever to sell even more of my stuff than I originally intended. Before it gets <laughs> flooded or damaged, you know, I gotta get rid of the stuff. You know, I gotta sell it fast. So, my eBay store is now my bedroom, uh, or vice versa. I also have the, my action figures in here. Uh, well, most of them. The rest are downstairs on display. Uh, I'm going to go through them and sell a, a portion of those. There's some I'm still not intending to sell indefinitely. Uh, my comic book collection, uh, you know, I'm selling my entire run of Avengers. Uh, I'm selling probably, I know this is going to break some hearts, especially one belonging to a man called Sean Lee Levin. But I'm planning to sell probably all of my All-Star Squadron. Uh, and Earth 2 books. I'm already selling the first appearance of the Huntress uh, for $75 on eBay. And that is the Huntress, the Helena Wayne Earth 2 Huntress. The daughter of Batman and the Catwoman of Earth 2. Uh, but All-Star Comics, other than that issue, I'll probably keep. But All-Star Squadron, I'm selling. Infinity Incorporated, I'll probably sell. Uh, Young All-Stars, I'll keep. I have a kind of an attachment to those. Um... But that's most of a huge box. Um, same with the Avengers. Uh, and then there's some series that one day I may sell because I have them in the essential black and white uh, big tomes that are now out of print, which you, where you can just sit down and read the whole run. I have all of the Swamp Thing, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I have all the Man Thing issues written by Steve Gerber uh, and a couple... Uh, I don't think I have any before him. I sold Savage Tales uh, a year and a half ago for about $500. Uh, and the reason it was being sold is because there was the rumor that Man-Thing was going to appear. So now that he has appeared uh, on screen, uh, Savage Tales is probably going for a thousand easy now. Um, but anyway, I did cash in when I could. And... Uh, but I have that, that run of man thing, and I, I could sell all of those. Uh, ironically, the one issue I don't have, because the comic title he was in after Savage Tales was called Adventure into Fear. Uh, issue, what, 18 or 19, the first appearance of Howard the Duck. I, I thought I had it, but apparently I've never owned it. I just had the issue before and after it. However, I do have Howard the Duck number one. I'm selling for $100. Eternals number one. I'm selling for $100. First appearance of Brother Voodoo. I'm selling for $300. First appearance of Eric, El, Eric Killmonger in Jungle Action. Signed by the co-creator, Rich Buckler. I'm selling for $250. So, I've got quite a few valuable books still. But, you know, the economy has destroyed me. You know, uh, Biden, Joe Biden's America, the inflation king here. Uh, who's basically taking all of our money and giving it to the Ukraine. Uh, it's gutted uh, outlets like eBay. Um, but like I said, things have gradually started to pick up within this last month. So, But I'm still at record low sales. Uh, I used to make reliably $1,000 a month after fees. Uh, now I unreliably make about a hundred dollars a month after fees so it's rough uh i added a couple of titles today and I'm, I'm you know i'm still still got hundreds of items to put up but i just i have only so much time i'm trying to add to my Flickr street website my new friend heather has shown a lot of interest in my artwork and in Flickr street and that's inspired me to kind of try to keep pushing uh, of course, I have Sean Lee Levin, who's been a, a, a long-time supporter of Flickr Street and what I'm trying to do with that. Um, so, I was on the dating sites for a while, and I've kind of pushed that aside, and that's kind of been a good thing. Um, 
I've come back from this kind of crisis with my house and, and with my health, uh, you know, somewhat positive. Uh, I refilled all my meds today. I mailed out my Ebays. Worked yesterday. It went well. It was mundane stuff, but crucial to my mental health. So, uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I can just kind of throw in here before I wrap up and just keep this a short video for once. Uh, I am going to do a little experimenting here. Uh, yeah, I really have gained weight, but I like this lighting. You can get some really good, and there is a filter on this. I forgot the name of it. It's called Lolly, like L-O-L-L-I, like short for lollipop. But look at the way it gets the yellow. I mean, that that's not yellow light back there, but that's like pure yellow light because of this phone like something whoops here we go again like something out of out of daredevil the original real daredevil netflix show not not the mcu daredevil um and i'm aware that it's the same actor and character sort of but anyway that pure yellow uh, i really dig so i can get some good angles my hair's growing out it's falling out but it's growing out. I was looking at some pictures from 2017, 2018, and I'm like, man, wish I could have been doing these videos back then. Um, but my beard is growing out. I get compliments at work uh, from customers. Uh, it's weird. Sometimes females. A lot of time hipster guys and, and, and black dudes who are like, yeah, man, keep it growing. And I'm like, hell yeah, man. But when they start calling, saying shit like Santa Claus or old man, I'm like, fuck this. If you want to make some kind of a comparison, maybe Odin would be cool. Gandalf, you know, I mean, I like Ian McKellen, but, you know, I don't really care that much about Tolkien anymore. Um, I do like the Ralph Bakshi Lord of the Rings film quite, quite a bit. So let's turn this around. I'm looking for the little spinny wheels here. Where are they? Okay, I'm going to have to do a little... Hmm. I may pause this and then unpause it. Okay, I am back. I hope that edit splice wasn't too awkward. I'm going to turn this uh, camera angle around. And we're going to look at what I'm checking out here. So this is my room with the uh, special lights here. Uh, all the trash is like to the left and right of me. I need to get up, but... This front part, you know, fairly, fairly okay. So you see my Shaw scope, uh, volumes one, volumes one and two that I've been engaging in, indulging in. I finished, uh, two recently. Now I'm going back and watching all of one. So right now, as you can see, I'm going to turn this volume down so that I don't have, uh, too many problems with sound. And also, so I maybe don't have, whoa, so I don't have too many issues with, um, uh, with copyright, maybe, music. So, let me pause this one second. Okay, I'm back. Didn't cut it off. Um, let me do a little bit of creative something in earlier here. Okay, that and that. So this is like my verite found footage masterpiece here. I've been watching a ton of found footage films. Most of them dreadful, but some quite interesting. Shaw Brothers, the coat of arms. That is a guarantee of quality. Shaw Scope. Shaw Scope, Shaw Scope. Check it out, man. King Boxer. All right, I'm going to turn this down so I don't violate any uh, copyright laws that I may already have. Run Run Shaw. Though that sting, uh, I call it, as I call it, uh, I stole that term from Tim Lucas, uh, a musical sting here in the beginning is actually, you know, uh, Stolen from Ironside, but popularized arguably more so uh, with this film, King Boxer, a.k.a. Five Fingers of Death by Chang Che. Chang Che, you know, is like the, 
He's like the, uh, you know how in the Italian cinema you had these very workmanlike but very creative uh, cats like Umberto Lindsay and, you know, who made like zillions and zillions and zillions of movies. Jess Franco, um, well, he wasn't Italian, but, you know, Euro, Euro films. Uh, so in, in Hong Kong, the genre king, as far as being a prolific prodigy, was... Chang Che. Uh, to date, I've seen almost 40 of his movies, and that's still, I still have quite a few to go. Not that many. Now, Jess Frank, I've seen about 40, 45 of his movies, and I have probably 100 or 200 left. So anyway, we're watching a little bit of King Boxer here. We're kind of chilling out. This is kind of the lay of the land. Uh, action figures, uh, comics over here on the left. Some I'm going to keep. Most I'm going to sell. Um... Uh, movie Maniacs action figures in the corner I'm keeping. Uh, these Blu-rays are uh, things I've been watching that are going to be filed in the library downstairs. Uh, some of these comics uh, over here in the middle uh, I am going to keep. And then uh, this stuff over here I'm going to sell every bit of it. Uh, I, didn't, I neglected to mention one run that I'm selling... Uh, it's in that box. How do we point? Right there. Uh, which is my Swamp Thing collection. I already have quite a few of them online uh, for sale. Uh, I've, I've sold a handful of Alan Moore issues. I've got tons of Alan Moore issues still up. And right now I'm starting to segue into putting up all the Rick Veach run. Uh, followed by... Um, uh, the guy who wrote it afterward, <laughs> the artist was Mike Hoffman, but I forgot the writer, but I really liked it. Um, uh, I have, I had a hundred issues of Swamp Thing consecutively. I, well, I had 115, I'm sorry, I had number 15 to 115. I'm also selling issue number one. This is the saga of the Swamp Thing series, the 80 series that Alan Moore made popular. Uh, not the 70 series of Bernie Wrightson. I did have one issue of that, uh, and it was signed by Bernie, and I sold that a while back. I had a few Bernie things that I've sold, like the the Hulk thing, um, Big Change, um, and uh, the, the Frankenstein print. I sold for three hundred fifty dollars, which is being reprinted as an individual print now. It was one that was not included in his uh, incredible illustrated Frankenstein. Uh, the one that wasn't, I'd, I've forgotten the name of the print. I always forget it. I originally listed it for seven fifty. Originally, I took, eventually, I took three fifty for it. So please check out my eBay store. A lot of this comic stuff's going to be in it. DVDs are all downstairs. Toys, action figures, all kinds of strange stuff. Movie posters, to you know, little weird knickknacks. Uh, it all must go, but you know, the economy's murdering me. So, uh, I am in dire straits, but like I said earlier in part one of this video where, uh, hopefully, which hopefully will be attached seamlessly to this, uh, I am doing slightly better. There is some hope. Uh, I do have running water and my immediate pressing bills are paid, but I still have these outstanding really horrible bills and uh but i do have some financial assistance allegedly on the way for those back here i am oh my gosh it's really dark now oh i see i turned off that uh I turned off that light device not sure why it didn't uh stay in place let me switch here oh well I guess that's about as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm going to uh, bid you adieu now. I just wanted to check in. I'm alive. I still have projects going on. I still want to do the channel and the shows. My voice and throat have been erratic as hell. Some days is bad. Um, but I can talk. Uh, I can sing again, but not, not the way I used to. So I'm hoping I'll be able to regain some of that. But anyway... Uh, I may film more on this format. Definitely my, uh, tour of the, uh, uh, permanent Blu-ray library of H. Covert. And, um, 
I don't know about what else, but I'm hoping to get my uh, laptop emptied of all of the data that's overwhelming it so I can begin filming on it again. But I, in the meantime, I can make these videos and toy with all these really cool filters. Uh, I just have to get used to the size uh, and holding it and <laughs> stuff like that. So anyway, take care and thank you for the support. I'm back for for now. Uh, I may, uh, I may disappear again for a few days or weeks, but I'll be back. Take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.